rib cage on an animal, or in this case this whale, is 26 curved pieces of huge bone that any one of them by itself might look like something that came out of the front end of an elephant. Trying to get these lined up so that they look right is probably the trickiest, hardest part of building the whale skeleton. When the ribs are all lined up correctly, it becomes this really beautiful, graceful, curved form that you no longer see the individual ribs, but a lot of times when you look at this, what you're seeing is the, the entire form of that rib cage. All it takes is one rib to be not in the right spot and it, it throws the whole rib cage off in terms of, of looking like this beautiful form. So we spend a lot of time moving and removing and bending smooth curves around the, the rib cage, trying to get these lined up and spaced right so that hopefully when somebody looks at it, they're not seeing each individual crooked bone, but what they're seeing is this form of the, the whole rib cage. Once, once the ribs are all lined up, once they got to where we wanted them, then a metal superstructure was built inside of that. And that superstructure is, is what the ribs are bolted to. Um, on a smaller whale or a smaller animal, we can do that so that there's no metal showing anywhere, but on this particular whale, we've got 300 and some pounds of just the ribs. So that's a lot of weight to, to expect to be held up any other way than bolting it to this formwork that, that we made. Essentially had to, had to build the whole, the whole rib cage the way we want it to look when it's done temporarily, which means it's held up with string and wires and rubber bands and whatever it takes to hold it in place until we can get the measurements and this bent metal that goes inside of it welded up. And once that's done, then the ribs got welded to that and all that other janky stuff went away. It's one I learned when I first learned how to build skeletons from the uh, vet school. I learned it and I never thought I would ever use it again. Thank you.